It's here, we made it, it's Friday. Just like I said yesterday, it rained here. Uh, so everything's wet, warehouse is a little, little, uh, little more chaotic when it rains, but we're getting through it. It's a busy one, we're still down a driver, obviously he's on vacation, today's the last day, so he'll be back on Monday, so we're looking forward to that, and I know Austin is as well. And yeah, I'm off to my do my shopping. And I'm driving my brother's Jeep for the first time. He's got this Jeep Grand Cherokee that he loves that he just got last year, or this year, he got it this year, and uh, loves this thing. And it's it's nice, it's nice, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. It's got definitely a lot more power than my, than my Malibu. <laughs> you can tell it's Friday, it's always busy. Holy shit. What the fuck just happened? Holy crap. Oh. Now that dude's having a bad day. Like what? Like how do you, how do you even do that? It's a straight road, there's one lane. There's no, there's one one street to worry about. And that dude just decided to go Arr! That's like, uh, you know, someone was running from something, someone, uh, you know, cracked out on their mind, you know, maybe one too many fentanyls. I don't know, but that was like Arr! Like that guy was just like, Oh, this is a good place to turn and just went right into the wall. Just right into the wall. Yep. It's Friday. All right, it's 3 p.m. Time to get out of here. Last one out today by choice, but also because I had a lot of stuff to do. It's the first of the month. All right, finally done with work. I had to make a couple of stops along the way, customer stops and whatnot, uh, which I don't mind doing. I, I, I'm do actually, next week we're gonna start doing more customer stops, so more on that later. But uh, we're here at Lowe's. Uh, in the nursery section because Darian, awesome community member, made a comment during a live stream last week that I should get back in my plant hobby. And I made a, I, mean, I kind of went on a little rant about how like, I don't really have any hobbies. I really don't. I, I have a lot of things I'm interested in, things that, I, that interest me and things that I want to uh, get, you know, that, I, that I'd like to look into and do. And plants are one of them, house plants, gardening, all that sort of thing. I've always been interested in plants and, and green and whatnot. But my, my point was, is that I get into something and I'm like all into it. I talk about it and I take photos and da, 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 And then I lose interest in it and go into something else. The biggest problem that I have with plants, house plants, is that there's the excitement of shopping, buying, and then planting them, right? Those are the three things. But once they're planted and, you're, and they're in place, they just kind of sit there, right? Like there's not really much to do with them, right? It's not like a, a pet where you play with them and have to monitor them and feed them and pick up after them and walk them and all that. So it's like, plant just kind of sits there, right? It's beautiful, I love to see it. At, this, at that point, it just becomes art. But then I thought, well, you know what? What did I just say? The shopping piece, the shopping of, of looking for them and whatnot, buying them, planting them. The planting piece is the picking the pot and picking the location and that sort of thing, right? That's the fun part. So why don't I just do that? I mean, they're cheap, plants are cheap, let's be honest. Like, these things are what? Like, well, these are vegetables, so those are gonna be more expensive. But like house plants, I mean, we're talking like five bucks maybe? What's, what's that to say that I, just, I buy like one house plant every week? You know, it, go on an adventure, right? Maybe I look for new new nurseries, look for new places to buy plants. That's an adventure. That's content for the blog. So we're gonna start now. Gonna, I remember Lowe's being a great place for house plants versus like Home Depot. And there really isn't that many nurseries out here, especially for house plants. Uh, I'm gonna look for some more on the West Valley, but all the, all the all the big nurseries here in Phoenix are all in Phoenix and further east, like Scottsdale and Tempe. So um, yeah, let's go let's go buy some house plants. I've always said I wanted a garden. I just never built a place for it, and now I don't really have one. But after seeing my dad's garden, it kind of makes me want to just buy a couple more like specific chili plants or plants that I like, that vegetables that I like, and plant them in the backyard. Also, I need to replace the birds of paradise behind the spa because they've all died. Oh, these are cool. I can plant, I could do these. I, guess I, don't, I don't have to do birds of paradise. We could do something different. I just like the big leaf foliage, you know what I'm saying? Here we go. Oh, and they got bonsai too, look at that. That's beautiful. One day, one day we'll get there. So we've got a couple of these already in the house. They're doing very well. I had one of those that died. Yeah, see, lots of options. If I just buy one of these a week, plant it, set it, just slowly rebuild my collection, right? 
get on a watering schedule, actually pay attention to the, the, the species, right? Mmm, decisions, decisions. We'll stick with the small ones. We'll stick, we'll stick with the cheap ones. That way if they die, it's not a big investment. I think we're gonna go with the peace lily. I had one of these before. Obviously it grows a nice flower. And if I remember correctly, they're quote unquote, easy to take care of. I used to subscribe to this app called Planta. I think it's called Planta. I'll have to look it up, I'm not sure. But anyway, I used to subscribe to it. Obviously let the subscription go, but I still have the app and it teaches you everything as far as how to take care of the plant. All you have to do is document the plant, give you all the information about like where it's at, yada, 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 and then it'll literally tell you when to water it, when to mist it. You just gotta keep on top of it. So I come home, see her's in our bedroom, pulling out all the Christmas uh, wrapping papers and she's in here wrapping presents. She already bought Bryce at least one gift, maybe two, I don't remember. She bought Tiffany a couple gifts, she bought Jacob a couple gifts, and so she's just getting it out of the way. She's talking about all the great deals she got and she even bought herself a couple of gifts because they're on sale. She's got good deals. She's she got Tiffany's frugal, she got a lot from Tiffany. I gave her a big compliment, I gave Tiffany a big compliment today. I said, Sierra inherited your caringness and like wanting to be with family and spend time with family and think of family and buy things for family. And she has that she has that trait that she got from Tiffany and I love it, I love that. So I just got done putting orders in. Uh, for the most part, I think there might be one or two stragglers. Actually, I can think of two, two restaurants that'll call in their orders in the next maybe hour or two. Um, but anyway, for the most part, work's done for the night. So now I'm like going deep into YouTube analytics. We've got two months of data. Uh, with the daily vlogs, so I'm I'm, I'm kind of going through the analytics and and digging into all the different metrics that YouTube gives us to you know analyze and understand our audience and viewers. Just you know trying to learn some stuff to make better decisions. Like for example, I was curious if I could tell when I do a live stream on YouTube, are the majority of the viewers on mobile or on desktop? Um, I can't go down to that granular level, but just based on viewership, mobile is like. 10x like it's 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 actually nuts how many of you watch the vlogs from a mobile device and now i'm not talking about a tablet i'm talking about a phone a mo whatever's considered mobile that you know it's a phone exponentially more i just had this conversation with somebody the other day that i am shocked when i learn somebody who doesn't own a, a computer they don't own a laptop or a desktop like literally their only device to the internet is their phone and i'm like how, how is that even possible? And then, and then I think about it, I'm like, well, a majority of people don't have a use for a computer, right? Unless you have school or work, you don't need it. You can do everything from your phone. And obviously we're more of a mobile forward um, society these days. Everyone has a, f a cell phone for the most part, which means everyone has connection to the internet. Everyone has a smartphone these days for the most part. So it's just like the internet is at your fingertips and in your pocket. So that makes sense that the more majority of people are doing it. I just, I don't know, I just, in my mind, I'm just like, why wouldn't you want to watch it on a computer or a laptop? It's bigger viewing experience. You can do more, you can see more. You know, while you're watching the video, you can, you know, I, I don't multitask. I don't know, it's just one of those things where I, I, I understand, but I guess I was just more shocked, that's all. Interesting enough, Twitch is almost 50-50. 45% uh, is web, and then 50% is mobile, so. Within five percent, it is mobile and desktop for for, for Twitch. So, kind of makes me feel like that's because there's a lot of gamers, right? That are PC gamers that are watching Twitch on their computer, or people that are more. I, I always feel like Twitch was more of a mature audience, mature being older, um, you know, more techie. So they have computers, PCs, laptops, that sort of thing. Whereas YouTube because it's video on demand and it's more accessible from the phone and you're you know watching something you can pause at a certain point whereas live you're sitting and watching for long periods of time at a desk so you know just fascinating like I said I love analytics I love data Cafe Zupa that's my cup salad with, uh, with lobster lobster, lobster roasted pepper and lobster bisque and lobster red pepper something with that Mom got some type of like Southwest Cobb salad or something. Okay. And like the South, like the enchilada soup. Mm -hmm. I got the turkey avocado club with the potato soup. Okay. Bryce. Bryce got Italian, Italian with potato soup. And Jacob got turkey club with the chicken's Cobb salad. I kind of awesome. Everyone like is looking bad enough. 
All right, so uh, Jacob finally joined us. We finished our, our dinner. Uh, Zupa is actually really freaking good. And uh, now that I've been there and I've seen their menu, uh, it's basically just soup, salad, and sandwiches, but their menu is pretty static and it's pretty extensive. Like there, I got lobster, fire, like fire, uh, red chili, fire roasted chili, lobster. Delicious, there's a lobster bisque, there was a clam chowder, there was a Mexican corn chowder, there's the inch, chicken enchilada soup. Like there's just tons of great soups, tons of great salads. I'm so excited that we have one uh, out here now, so I'm definitely gonna be going back and checking them out. Uh, Bryce just got home, he's eating his dinner, and we're all kicking it by the fire. As, as a, lot of, a lot of you, I'm sure, do. When you sit by a fire, there's always like a, a drink that kind of calls to you. Uh, for some people, it's red wine. For some people, it's whiskey, bourbon. For me, it's tequila. And so um, I am opening up a bottle of Centenario Añejo. My brother got me this for my birthday. So shout out to Austin for that, I appreciate it. Uh, which actually shout out to his buddy Jaime, who got him a bottle of it for his birthday? Yeah, I think it was for his birthday. So he he got a bottle of it. He said it was delicious. He said, um, and then so he got me a bottle of it, so. Mmm. Kind of like some butterscotch, maybe? See, Austin likes the oak. He likes, he likes heavy oak. That's good, but it's good. It's it's okay though. Like I definitely definitely have some better bottles on the shelf, but that's good. That's good. It's definitely drinkable. You guys, it's December first, which means it's baby's birthday. The dog. She's twelve years old, which is what, seventy eighty four. Eighty four? She's eighty four years old. So she's basically dead. Mm. That's like your early birthday gift. Huh. Mama got that for you like last week. It's Christmas gift slash birthday gift. Cause you got you got one of those dumb December birthdays. <laughs>